Hey, good morning, Summit. This is Edward and this is Jake. Good morning. And we are here with our weekly update of what's going on at Summit Heights. Yeah. So, Jake, I know you have something that. Uh, well, I, you know, I wanted to let our people know before you start talking, Edward. Um, let me get ready because I did not come prepared this last Sunday. Um, because, dude, you were like bringing it. Like, you kicked me in the shins, you punched me in the chest. I mean, you were bringing the word, bro. And when you said you were going to offend everybody, I thought you meant everybody but me. And so I just want to make sure that you guys understand that, you know, you can come prepared to church. And so if you feel like Edward's going to step on your toes, you can bring your shin guards. If you feel like he's going to, you know, beam one right at your head, come prepared with a helmet. And, uh, man, it was good, though. Did you get any feedback? I got a little feedback. Well, I'm going to tell you what, man. You inspired me. When you started talking about the masks, I started wearing one this week. I've already lost seven pounds. If you wear it at night before you go to bed, it stops that midnight snacking. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. What we got for him this week? Wow. Hey, um, so speaking of masks, speaking of all that, uh, if you missed last week, go back and watch it. Uh, it was fun. Make and, sure you're... Uh, make sure you're Prepared. You can watch any of our services. They're on Vimeo. They're on YouTube. They're on our face uh, um, website. YouTube, yeah, website. website. Yep. So uh, you can go back and catch those services. Uh, some folks have been asking, you know, hey, June's now over. What's the next phase? Are we going to move to another phase? Just, just to clarify, where kind of where we are right now, we are watching the governor just like you guys are, and the news and what's going on. And really, the summer is the phase. Is the phase. Yeah, well, there's nowhere to move to right there's now. There's not. And and so we want to encourage you uh, at that 65 and older at-risk at service uh, to continue to be sensitive and to honor and to um, be uh, servants during that service. And also at the 11 o'clock family worship, we really want to encourage you to practice social distancing and continue to follow those guidelines. So that helps us, and as we kind of move forward, we're kind of modeling to see what the schools are going to do and kind of following those same lines. So that's kind of where we are. We're going to keep going there. We're going to keep having our services. We want to encourage you to continue to faithfully uh, give so we can continue ministry. In fact, we're fixing to introduce something that's so... Oh, I'm excited about it. <coughs> it's I'm cool. Excited about it. and, and your generosity has funded that, and uh, it's going to impact kids all over this community. Yeah, yeah, so you know what month it is, right? Uh, July, bro. July, and what happens at the end of every July? Uh, independent. Oh. End of every July. Yeah. Oh, I said, I, I thought the 4th yeah. of July. Kid Venture Live. And so this year, we're not able to do Kid Venture Live in person, and so our uh, children's minister, Ashley Connor, and our preschool minister, uh, Kristen Walker has come up with virtual Kid Venture Live boxes. Hey, let me see that. Yeah, I'm going to give you the preschool one that Thanks. more fits your yeah. age or, or ability. Okay. Hey, I, Not you your age, it's gonna be but your ability. And so, right. starting this Sunday, if you've got a Kid Venture kid, uh, kindergarten through uh, yes. fifth grade, or if you've got a preschooler, you can pick up these virtual Kid Venture Live boxes. Take them home. Man, there's all kinds this, of man. crafts. Yeah, you can Look, do a URL. You can do a you URL. Do it's mm -hmm. got uh, instructions of what to do. You're going to be having Kid Venture Live in your home with your kid this summer. These are incredible. And here's another cool little tidbit that Ashley and Kristen decided to provide for your kids. When you pick up one of these boxes, you get to pick up a Kid Venture t-shirt. We've got different sizes, different colors. So your kids, they they usually get one of these if they go to preteen camp, but we're gonna give them to the Kid Venture kids this year. So pick up a box. He loves the preschool material, I'm telling yeah, I'm you. Telling pick up a this. box, pick up a shirt, and man, we're excited about that. Edward, well, listen, you, hey, you focus. Start, you're acting hey, like a preschooler hey, you now. You can start focus. taking notes in my focus. sermons focus. with this right here. Focus. Hey, I want to, can I close with just something really simple? Sure. Okay. I was listening to Sports Talk Radio yesterday. Mm -hmm. I do that quite often. And a Sports Talk Radio guy, I don't even know if he knows Jesus or whatever, but he was talking about all of the pushback and all of the criticism that these commissioners are getting, the commissioner of the yep. NBA, commissioner of Major League Baseball, uh, the NCAA football, commissioner of the NFL, uh, because their seasons haven't started and they don't know what they're doing. Yeah. And he made a statement that really resonated with me. He said, we need to be very graceful and extend grace to the people that are in charge because we've never 
navigated something like this right. before and it changes daily. And so I guess, Summit, I just want to make a plea to you. Um, we're, we're doing the best we can and we're what we're trying to do is we're trying to make decisions based off what we're hearing over here, what we're hearing over here, and what's best going to fit our model. And we're not always going to get it right. And you have been gracious. I, I, I think I, you I, have. I'm grateful for I you. Do. This uh, I talk to pastors every week. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got three pastors I'm talking to today that it's not been graceful for them. Their people have not been graceful towards them. And so I'm grateful for you because you have been good to us as leadership as we've struggled to make decisions. And our elders, so grateful for those yeah. guys. They're so wise in helping us lead and be good leaders and good shepherds. So thank you. Thank you. you. Yeah. Thank you. And please continue to pray for us as we navigate this. Yeah, and, and I want to tell you this. I know there's a lot of scary stuff on the news right now. Be not afraid. Jesus has this. He, he's not up there going. He has this, yeah. and he has us, and it's just our responsibility and our honor and our opportunity just to obey him and trust him. And he's a good, good father and a great savior, and, and we're really big sinners, and we need him. So uh, he's got us, so don't be afraid, and, and don't buy into you know that fear and all that. Trust him in this. Be wise in this. So we love you. Uh, do you have anything else? No. Nope. Camera girl uh, behind the camera. Camera girl. You ready? Camera girl. You ready? We okay, love you, ready? Summit. We love you. Thank you. See you Sunday.